Um, so is this uh is this the house that uh Shark Dude uh pointed us towards? Well, yeah, according to my GPS, it says yes. We this is the house. All right then. Who do you think lives here? I have no idea. Probably some jack off. <laughs> That's pretty funny, man. Thanks. Seriously, we got to knock on the door, right? All right, here we go. All right, let's see if see whoever lives here answers. All right, now it's time to just wait. Hmm, we've been waiting here for five minutes. Don't you think it's time that we uh, leave? No, 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 we got to keep waiting. Maybe they're just nervous. Really, dude? Nervous? You think that? Help! No, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Get out of my house! <laughs> Brad! What the? What the heck? What the? How long was I zoned out for? Dude, you were zoned out for like two minutes. Come on. Man. Oh, oh, I just. I had a horrible dream. Daydream? I don't know. Vision? I don't know. What was it about? You, you know what? Never mind. Let's just keep waiting. Oh, uh, hi. What are you two doing here? Uh, hey, ma'am. My name is Brad Kizlowski, and I'm Ryan Blaney. We are part of the, uh, Homeowners Association. Yeah, yeah. Part of the Homeowners Association. Uh, we're not part of the Homeowners Association. Shut up, shut up. Sorry, he, he's a little slow. Hey, I'm not slow. Anyhow, we heard that you had some batteries in your house that are not safe and up to standard, so we're going to have to look at that. Oh, really? If you guys are part of the Homeowners Association, then why don't you have badges huh, that say that on your shirts, on, on your paintwork? Uh, <laughs> we don't like to wear them. You guys are fakers. No, 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 we're not fakers. No, 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 we're not fakers. Oh, I hate you. I hate you fakers. Please, please, come back, come back. Man, damn it. We're never going to be able to get in there. Oh, uh, dude, look. What? She just left the door wide open. Did she? Did she really just leave her door open? Uh, yeah. We'll just go inside. <laughs> yeah. It's not like we're going to get arrested, right? Hopefully not. About 20 minutes of searching through the house later. Oh, that's it. We've looked everywhere. Well, the only direction to look is... We're idiots. Anyhow, this looks pretty cool. Yeah, it does, huh? It's pretty nice. Um, should we just take them? Uh, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, 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 we should take them. But what if she finds out? Uh, she's probably not going to be coming back for like another hour or so. Um, all right. How do you know that? I just know. I just have a feeling, all right? We're going to get out of here. Let's just get the batteries, all right? Oh, okay. Okay. Dude, what did we just do? Are we... Thieves? Yeah, but it's for a good cause. You know that. I, I guess you're, that gets true. Holy hell, boys! You! Oh, my God! Uh-oh. I think she figured out. We gotta run. Go! Okay! I can't believe you boys would take my stuff! I'm gonna kill you once I get you! Uh, uh, I probably should go to the police office first. Hmm, seems about right. Hey, 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 police officer man! First off, I have a name, and second off, uh, calm down, ma'am, what's going on? Well, those, those young boys over there, they, they took, uh, they, they stole my, they stole something of mine. What, what did they steal? They stole two batteries from me, and they broke into my house. Wait, really? Uh, well, I was about to go after them for speeding, but that just gives me one more reason to go after them. All right, ma'am, I'll promise I can get them. You better. Phew, I think we just got out of there. Oh man, that was crazy. Hey, you bastards better get back here. Uh-oh, uh-oh, um, uh-oh. Run! You better get back here! Come on, go faster, go faster. I'm going about as fast as I can. You guys, I told you idiots to stay off this, uh, stay out of this town. But we've never even been to this town. Shut up. Um, oh crap, oh crap, he's getting closer to us. Wait a minute, I have an idea. Remember earlier? Remember when we uh, escaped from the police in Texas? I have an idea. Hey, I'm going to slow down. Wait, what are you doing? Okay. <laughs> oh man, I'm laughing. Why are you laughing? Because I'm gonna do this. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, oh, Brad, you saved us. Yeah, I did. Oh, I'm sorry for calling you a coward earlier, huh? 
No, it's okay. Don't worry about it. And anyways, I don't think he's hurt too much. Yeah, he sh it should be fine. Oh, yikes. Uh, yeah, we should probably get out of here. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Ah. Uh. Uh, I don't know how many more how many more times I can take this. Oh man. Did you just see that? Yeah, the car exploded right in front of us. Now something is really up with those two. <laughs> One of them just caused that guy to, that caused the police officer to literally blow up. Maybe they aren't friendly. Maybe they're evil. Maybe they have a plan. You really think so? Maybe. I'm going to keep my eye on those two for now. Meanwhile, back in present time... <sighs> hey, after all these years, I never expected to see you again. But here we are, I guess. Yeah, here we are, douchebag. Oh, don't get me started. You're the douchebag here. And explain to me how I'm the douchebag. Oh, let me think. You... You. Oh, I have so many reasons. I can't even list them off. But I'm just going to list out the big ones. First, you lied to me. Which, by the way, our partnership was built on... Friendship was built on trust. Our partnership and our friendship. And you ruined that. Not to mention, you made me... huh? You, you tricked me into helping you make a nuclear bomb. And you also took, took some of my work. And, uh, and you also took some of my work... And you got credited for it because you're selfish. <laughs> oh, you're so naive. I mean, you fell for it so easily, Frankfurt. Benson, you know farewell that I, if I wasn't so desperate, I wouldn't have fallen for it. Yeah, but whose fault is that? Not mine. Well, probably was your fault. Shut up, it's not my fault. All of this is your fault. If you hadn't it, if you hadn't started, if you hadn't broken up our uh, partnership, none of this would have ever happened. Oh, <laughs> well, life has a weird way of working. And what the hell is that supposed to mean? All this time, dude. All this time, all I asked for you in that partnership was respect, trust, and uh, to be able to. And the ability to be able to share our work without uh, without the other one uh, backstabbing each other. But you broke those rules. And that's why I kicked you out of my house. Eh? Uh, that's why I kicked you out of my house. But no, you just decided you wanted to come back and, you know, try, try to destroy the world. I don't understand why you do this stuff. It's fucking ridiculous. I've had enough, you know? It's just like every single day for the last 25 years, I have had guilt and misery over the fact that I helped somebody like you with your evil plan. Oh, 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 well, you trusting me in the first place was a mistake. Yeah, you know what? For once, I can agree on something. Me trusting you was a huge mistake. And I don't, I, and, and I wish I, and I wish you didn't uh, come back into my life. I wanted you gone forever. I thought I rid myself of you after the last encounter, but I guess not. <laughs> I guess not. Hey guys, why don't we just talk this out over tea? Shark dude, you petulant idiot. It's gonna take a little bit more than tea to, uh, to get over this. Yeah, actually I agree with him. You're an idiot, shark dude. Hey. Knock it off. Hey, you called him an idiot. I don't care. You don't have the right to call anybody an idiot around here, considering your actions. Huh. You know what? I've had enough of you. Where are you going? I'm going to show you something. I wonder what he's getting. Wait, well, what the hell is that thing? It's... It's a dead body. I'm going to throw it to you. Oh, dude! You just threw a dead body at me. You're a psychopath. <laughs> I am a psychopath, and I'm proud of it, Franklin. I am too far gone. <laughs> I don't feel safe anymore. Please, stay away from me. Stay away, stay away, stay away, stay away. Please, 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 please. No, no, no. Oh my god, there's no way this is actually happening. Oh my god. No, 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 please, please. Uh, uh, stop. <laughs> oh no. Three minutes later. <laughs> oh, hey, Frankfurt. Oh, 
You. I can't believe you tied me up. <laughs> and you threw a dead body at me. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. The expression on your face. Oh, so hilarious. This is so pathetic at the same time. Girl, I'm gonna get you. <laughs> oh, man. You're hilarious, Frankfurt. I'm sorry to say, but it's over for you. And Shark Dude, and Brad, and Ryan, and Ralph, and you know, whoever else. It's over for all of you guys. I am now in power. I feel so much power. <laughs> See you later, hot potato. <laughs> Shark Dude. Yeah, Frankfurt. We need to find a way to get out of this. I know. Hey, look. Look, Shark Dude, I'm... Uh, I, I'm sorry. Sorry for what? You brought me back to life. I appreciate that. Yeah, but I'm sorry for, you know, being so naive. I, well, even though, yes, I know you were being naive, but it isn't your fault. It's Benson's fault. I know, but I, I still feel a lot of guilt about it. Well, I don't think you should be feeling any guilt. It was his fault anyways. I know that. I don't think there's somebody to save us. I don't think there's anyone to save us. It feels hopeless. No hope means no life.